been working on this painting for one year and after most of those months being focused on the watercolor painting, I finally got to do my outline drawings on top of the painting. I believe every person has their own fixations when it comes to their creativity. I, for example, love to work on a thousand details both on my drawings and paintings. I love getting lost in adding infinite amounts of details into every corner of my work. It becomes sort of like a meditative state and instead of repeating a mantra in this visual meditation, I focus on repeating dots and lines until it all becomes blurry and it feels like an automated movement. I love getting so into it that it takes me a time to snap out of that hypnosis of sorts and get back into what I'm doing. I honestly think I focus on so many details because nature to me seems infinitely detailed. We can focus on a big landscape, but by walking slowly in nature, one can truly see an infinite amount of details from sacred geometry to fractal repetitions and a whole orchestra of magic. Very small, beautiful magic happening. I someday want to be able to transmit the vastness and the infinity of nature in my art. The weather has changed a lot these past few months. We are coming to the end of spring and summer is already arriving. The vastness of spring wildflowers are slowly leaving and turning into seeds. The days are starting earlier and earlier and I am loving my silent mornings walking in the woods or bathing in the creek before starting my day. This month I worked on a small painting for a mushroom tincture brand. I hadn't been taking commissions in a long time, but I am starting to open up for brands that I align with. And it's been a nice exercise to get back into the practice of commission painting. This time around, I've been working on a reishi mushroom painting. I will definitely show you the final product once I have it. This painting was fully made with minerals, earth, and rock watercolors. No wash or anything else. As the days are getting nicer, we've been having lots of visitors pop through the studio's windows. From our usual dear neighbors to cats, woodchucks, frogs, and rabbits. It is Monday, June 3rd. I just spent the first half of my day organizing my month. This is my organization for the week. It's really a way that helps me and actually works for me to organize what I have to do. I always remember the pensive, which is this container that Albus Dumbledore had in Harry Potter with the one he would just take a memory out of his brain and put it in the pensive so he wouldn't have to remember all the memories always. And I feel that for me, there's two things that are my life pensive. One of them is meditating daily. It really helps to clear my mind and not be just like monkey mind thinking all the time. And then the other one is writing things down. I have so many alarms and so many calendar notes within my month for every little thing that I have to do, including paying rent, including paying my credit card, including sending someone an email, because in that way, I don't have to go through it all the time being like, I have to remember that email because I already wrote it down and that will remind me that I need to do that. So yesterday I finished working on these painting. It's fully made with watercolors. And this is a custom painting that I'm making for a little 
bottle. So there's this mushroom company, this mushroom farm. And for the one I'm doing this custom painting, so pretty much inside a container like this one, this artwork will be the little packaging for reishi. It's a reishi tincture. And I finished that, I did some adjustments digitally. Before we continue with today's vlog, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the virtual home of my website, online portfolio, email campaigns, art shop, and so much more since 2018, and I cannot recommend them enough. You can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple and powerful payment tools. You can accept debit and credit cards, PayPal and Apple Pay, and in the eligible countries, you can offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with platforms like Afterpay and Clearpay. Squarespace and I are partnering up to offer you a two-week free trial, and once you're ready to launch, you can use the code CAROAREVALO to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain with them. Thank you once again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this vlog, and now let's go back into our art vlog. At the beginning of the month, Jamie and I got together to spend a day diving into the world of flowers and painting together. Jamie is the watercolor artist who teaches so the art nice. classes Aww. at Wildflower Farms Hotel, the flower classes that I was subbing for a few months ago. We had so much fun painting and talking with one another and the flowers. During the summer months, I get so energized to paint, to do workshops and try out new projects all at the same time. But it is also the perfect time to spend days off from time to time and just spend it with friends in nature and creating. It is Sunday and today I wanted to pick up some flowers. Today the sun is out, it feels so warm and beautiful and I feel my mood is controlled by the sun whenever it's sunny and warm. I feel so energized and ready to do things and excited and whenever it's gloomy, I'm ready to transform into a cat and just stay in bed all day, which I never do. But I wanted to come out and get some sun in my skin so I can get that energized and vitality to do stuff. I also wanted to pick up some flowers. All the buttercups are blooming and I picked up a bunch of buttercups, which are this beautiful yellow flower. And buttercups are so special to me. They were blooming a year ago when I started the painting, so I decided to include them in my painting. And I love that now they're back while I'm finishing the painting. And I also picked up this one, which I'm not sure what it is, but it smells amazing. It smells a little bit like jasmine and I wish you could scratch and smell the screen. Today's my fourth day drawing straight. And if you remember, the painting has this mushroom border. I've already done one of the four borders and I just have those three other borders left and I'm done. So today is all about drawing the mushrooms. So let's go ahead and do that. So the time finally arrived and I worked on the drawings for the border of my painting. It's felt so good to draw after such a long time and do it with the sun on the paper and on my face. I know these all sound so simple and it sounds as if I was just exaggerating, but believe me when I say that the simplicity of being able to spend a whole day drawing with the sun on the windows is honestly what the true luxuries in life feel like for me. I recently came across an Instagram post that I shared with my patrons as I loved what it said. It was written in Spanish and I don't know who the quote is from, but it translates to, to all the people who right now are writing, drawing, making a movie, composing a song, planning a dance or inventing a universe. 
thank you infinite times. Because in a world so fixated with destroying any type of creative act, you are the difference and the hope. Honestly, the only dream I have with sharing what I do is to awaken a little curiosity in others. Just as I get inspired by learning about other people's creative processes or the processes of nature herself. If by seeing one of my paintings, videos, or posts, someone gets inspired to explore nature a little bit closer, to look within or to get creative in their own way, I feel I have done more than enough. How beautiful that by creating something we get to connect deeper with ourselves, with the natural world around us and within us and with other beings. Anyways, I've been getting a little existential while painting, so here it is. Termine. Un año después. <laughs> I have officially finished my pollinator painting. The last part that I worked on was reishi mushroom. I did this on purpose. I wanted reishi to be the last part of the painting because it's a very dear mushroom to me. And now I will go ahead and remove the tape from the sides and put it in a tube and ship it for it to be scanned and it's been one year in the making and it's finally ready <laughs> who's in a rush anyway i just want this to be your sign in case you're a creator of any sorts that there's no need to rush your art i know that finances and getting money is a huge thing for everybody and I think there are ways to make money and not rush our art and I'm still navigating that. I still feel guilty most of the times but I'm learning how to not rush it because I feel that artwork is spiritual. Artwork is something that is so much more than something to be sold or you know. I feel there's so much more that goes into it so finally finished and it's literally been one year in the making. I've already shared with you that when I started this painting the buttercups were out and that's why I decided to include buttercup in my painting and they are out once again. It's been a whole cycle of them appearing, dying and coming back a whole year and here we are finishing the painting one year later. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you had a good time. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you like what you see here. I wish you a beautiful day ahead. Goodbye!